Good morning, LHS. I'm Angela Watson, and welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. Okay, and I am not seeing today is Monday, May 15, 2023. Let's go to our question of the day. Remember, stay tuned to the end of the broadcast for the answer. Lions, this is Mr. Flood Orion here with a special announcement for our theater department. This is the week of the Cappies Gala, so we are so excited. And you may see some of your fellow students walking around with this medallion on. This is to signify that they were nominated for a category at the Cappies Gala. It does not signify that we have won anything yet, but fingers crossed, the gala is this Saturday at Eastern Regional High School. If you'd like to come and support your fellow students, you can buy a ticket online, come and support us. We're going to have lots of fun and celebrate all of the hard work that your fellow Lions have done for the wedding singer. The Cappies are the high school theater awards to celebrate excellence in Southern New Jersey high school theater programs. Linderwald High School has been involved in the Cappies since 2003. This year is a record-breaking year for LHS with 21 nominations out of a possible 31 for our musical the Wedding Singer. We look forward to celebrating all the hard work done by our theater students at the gala this Saturday. So when you see them this week with their medallion, wish them congratulations and break a leg, which means good luck in theater. I'm so proud of you guys who were nominated. All right, get off your phones, take out your AirPods, listen up. We are Lions. It's time to get ready for our football season. Cheer trials will take place on May 23rd, 22nd, as well and the 25th you must attend all three practices to be considered please go to your Google classrooms to fill out the interest form you must fill out the form in order to try out if you have any questions or concerns see mrs. Lee in a 110 once again a 110 let's go Lions rawr now let's send it over to Ada Bonilla for the weather Made up on you with today's forecast. Today we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 73 and a low of 53, and mostly sunny skies. <laughs> what? From the west at 8 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Tuesday we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 81 and a low of 57. On Wednesday we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high of 72 and a low of 51. On Thursday, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 72 and a low of 51. On Friday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with temperatures at a high of 76 and a low of 56. On Saturday, we'll have showers with a high of 73 and a low of 53. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are currently experiencing our first heat wave of the century, reaching up to 110 degrees. So grab your Dr. Pepper and cool down. Hey you there, find the one who saves to find the one you crave. Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. I'm Billy with the 401. It is time for another four real moment. Brought to you by Mr. Flick's video journalism class.
Have you ever wondered about the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle disappearances? If so, I'm going to cure your curiosity. But first, where is it located? The Bermuda Triangle is a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean in which ships, planes, and people are alleged to have mysteriously vanished. For decades, the Atlantic Ocean's fabled Bermuda Triangle has captured the human imagination with unexplained disappearances of ships, planes, and people. Some of the most famous disappearances include Ellen Austin, USS Cyclops, Witchcraft, and Flight 19. Some speculate that unknown and mysterious forces account for the unexplained disappearances such as extraterrestrials capturing humans for study and other unrealistic ideas. Or are they? Some explanations are more grounded in science, if not in evidence. These include ocean fluctuations, yes, you heard me correctly, the ocean farts methane gas just like us and also includes disruptions in geomagnetic lines of flux. Environmental considerations could explain many, if not most, of the disappearances. The majority of the Atlantic tropical storms and hurricanes pass through the Bermuda Triangle. Also, the Gulf stream can cause rapid, sometimes violent changes in the weather. The U.S. Navy and U.S. Coast Guard contend that there are no supernatural explanations for the disaster at sea, but could they really just be covering up for what's really happening? This has been your For Real Moment. I'm Angela Watson. And I'm not seeing more. Have a great day, Lyndon Walt. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.